modernism week. Palm Springs Modernism Week started out as a uh, like a show and sale, but for six years now it's been an official city event sponsored by the uh, Historical Society and the Palm Springs Modern Committee. And uh, it's turned into a thing that draws thousands of people from all over the world. One of the highlights at Modernism Week in 2011 was an exhibit of Braniff Airlines memorabilia, including a complete collection of flight attendant uniforms. These designer outfits chronicle the history of Braniff and their cutting edge campaign to become something new in the air. Jeffrey Bernstein, owns this collection. In 1965, Harding Lewis became president of Braniff and hired Mary Wells to overhaul Braniff's image. The results virtually revolutionized the public's perception of air travel with striking designer paint schemes and in-flight fashion shows. You're with Dan and Milton. How many years did you work for Braniff? About three years. Three years? Yeah. Why did you quit? Well, at that time, you couldn't be married and fly. So we were required to terminate once you became married. You quit so you could get married? Yes. Wow. And I was based in Dallas and Minneapolis. Wow. And my class was the first to graduate in this uniform in November of 1965. Okay. What's your best memory of being a flight attendant? Oh, gosh. Just the people, just helping people. Braniff had a, uh, a, an understanding that we were not called stewardesses. We were called flight attendants and hostesses, and we were to treat people as if they were entering our home and we were a hostess cool. for them. So that was the mindset in caring for the people. And that was pretty flight. leading edge at the time, the flight attendant concept, yes. as opposed to the... the stewardess. Right, But right. we were actually hostesses. Right, okay. Because we were to think about entertaining people in our home, right. how we okay. treat them, how we would greet them, and how we would... Uh, I mean, how do people perceive and the planes with colder paint jobs and all this yeah. modern art on it? Yeah. I mean, did that? How was that received at the time? It was received very well. It was really? a real uh, great advertising, marketing uh, theme to do. Right. Because people just couldn't miss us in the airport. It's not all, only the colors, but the space helmets we wore. Right. And it was something that uh, Harding Lawrence, who was the president at the time, right. and Mary Wells in New York, she had the advertising company, which later they did get married. Ah. So it was her idea. Did she quit her job? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> okay, <I'm sorry. laughs> Well, I think they moved to Italy and bought a villa. Oh, okay. But, uh, that counts, I guess. But anyway, it was, uh, it was her idea, Mary Wells in okay. New York, okay. to come up with the extreme unique, unique change from the okay. Salvation Army look <laughs> to this look. Because when I went to Dallas to interview, I thought I'd be graduating in that outfit. Right, right. And, they, and I saw the pictures on the bulletin board, and, and they said, I thought, well, that'll be in the future, not there, our class. There's your takeaway, the Salvation Army look. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. That's so, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this was what came out of that that look to this. So it was quite a transition. So how often did you get to wear the space bubble? Uh, just whenever we wanted to. In Dallas, it was great because it rains there a lot. So you we really did. You, you really did wear that. Oh yes. We really I mean that's did. just awesome. <laughs> yeah. It had, had a Velcro uh, at the top, and it just would come apart, and they come together like that. So oh, it so it's like two little half shell right. things. Yeah, they come together, so it's easy to. Flight attendant on the half shell. Right, I love it. That's right. cool. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Dan. Oh, it's been a great pleasure. talking to you. My pleasure. Great exhibit. We're gonna look around. Emilio Pucci designed uniforms for the hostesses and flight crew. Some of the flight attendant uniforms even involved removing outerwear in flight, a process dubbed the airstrip. Hi folks, I'm here with Gail Hodges, and Gail is wearing this exquisite looking stewardess blouse that looks awfully familiar to one I've seen here at this exhibit. That's true. And do I have tales for you? I used to fly a trip from Dallas. It was called 525-232, and we would go Dallas, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Wichita, Kansas City, and Chicago. Wow. And then we'd make it all the way back. It wow. Was, it was a milk run. In the, the day before hubs. <laughs> well, actually, we're here with all these beautiful uniforms, but I started in the Matt Black uniform over there. Oh, really? In 1963. Okay. And I have worn every one of these uniforms. 
Excellent. I flew for Brana for 26 years. Wow, 26 and, years. Uh, 26 years. So, so how do you feel when you fly today? Oh, sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm, I'm sad. It used to be fun. It to used fly. to be fun, and and it used to be comfortable. And it's not any of those things anymore. What's what's your uh, uh, scariest memory from your days uh, flying with? Brandon? I I have to say my scariest memory was I was flying to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. We were coming into uh, Saigon, and the the captain didn't tell us anything. And uh, all of a sudden we're coming in for our landing, and we see these. Uh, we didn't know at the time they were flares. They came up and they hit the engine. And we thought the engine was on fire. Oh wow. And you're, you know, that scare tactic that goes through your blood system. We had that entire airline prepared for an emergency landing because we thought the airplane was on fire. Wow. But it wasn't. And it was um, you know, it was just a normal just go around and come back because there was enemy fire. Wow, really? But can I tell you about the nicest thing? Okay. Flying to Vietnam, for some reason we landed Christmas Eve into Vietnam, into Saigon, and they found a whole cargo of eggnog. Really? And nobody knew what it was for, or where it was going, or who it was to. It was just on board. And we set up tables underneath the uh, airplane, and they put guards around the airplane, and we served eggnog underneath Excellent. on Christmas Eve. Awesome. To all of, of the uh, soldiers. That's great. And that's my fondest memory. That's cool. I love so it. best and worst in Vietnam. Best and worst. That's it's great. Vietnam. Well, Gail, in closing, I, I have to ask you one thing. Would you like some pretzels? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you.